All right, guys, welcome back to V-Twin Online. We've uh, finished assembly of our primary uh, chain upon completion of swapping out our stator, rotors back in place, compensator, clutch assembly, and we even replaced our uh, timing temperature shoe here. So, uh, and we bent down our lock tabs to make sure everything's tight. Bend those lock tabs down. All we did was take the pliers and bam, there you go. All right, now. I've already cleaned the threads off here with a paper towel. Went in there, cleaned the threads off of the, the oil as best I could. I took the sprocket off, the shaft off, and I cleaned the threads off of our uh, crankshaft too. Now we're going to clean the oil out from within the main shaft nut, clutch hub nut. And then we're going to go ahead and put two drops of Loctite in here. That's what the book tells us to do. There's one drop. Maybe a little too much. Alright. Now remember this is reverse thread or left hand thread. Now with our torque wrench set to 70 foot-pounds, we'll go ahead and torque this guy down. It's not a lot of torque. All right. Now we'll go ahead and crank this up to 150 foot-pounds. We'll go ahead and tighten up our clutch hub, or, cl or excuse me, our compensator assembly. Alright, here we go. There's a shot of red, another drop. That's a little more effort. All right, let's go ahead and put the rest of this back together. Our main shaft nut tightened down to 70 foot pounds. We got our release plate. Go ahead and slap that in there like that. Now we've got that in. We can go ahead and insert our lock ring. Look at that. I told you, buy yourself a nice set of lock ring pliers, snap ring pliers. Hopefully I got enough battery left on the camera, we'll get this done in the shot. Alright, here we go. Watch your eyeballs. There we go, we got our end. Alright, we're going to tighten up our adjusting screw. Excuse me, yeah. Alright, adjusting screw. 
And remember, on your on your clutch handle, there should be a little bit of play, right? There we go. Now the book will tell you to adjust your cable. I'm sure that's technically correct. I'm skipping that step, but follow your manual. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and cinch this down. Four to six foot-pounds. It's not a lot, guys. It's surface tight and a little snug. And there we go. And that's it. Compensator nut installed, 150 to 165 foot foot pounds. Main shaft nut was installed inside at 70 to 80 foot pounds. We got our uh, lock pl or just release plate, snap ring, adjusting screw, and lock nut, a uh, jam nut installed, four to six foot pounds. And that's it. We'll put this uh, chain tensioner back on. And once our chain tensioner is back on. We'll be ready to uh, go ahead and finish installing our uh, gaskets and then go ahead and add some primary fluid. And we'll be all set. There you go, 25 foot pounds with a nylon nut. Alright, guys, I'll see you later before my battery dies. I've shown you how to do it, review it, and now you can do it. Take care. Bye.